So I'm going to go back to level one in the floor plan view. And just like we did before, we're going to go to the architecture tab and we're going to activate the wall tool. And this time I'm going to select a different type of curtain wall. I'm going to choose the one down here at the bottom. And this is the curtain wall type that has everything already loaded into it. So you may have wondered why I didn't show this one first. I want to just use the basic type just to kind of step by step introduce you to the parts within the curtain wall. You'll see with this one that it has everything in it. It's got the panels, it's got the mullions and the grid lines. And uh, we're going to use the rectangle tool and make a little building footprint. So click on rectangle and then we'll zoom in here a little bit. We'll make sure, as always, that we have a top constraint. So we're going to go up to level two with this set of walls. And then I'm just going to drag out a rectangle here, keeping the size fairly small. Let's kind of keep it under 10 meters or 10,000 millimeters. So I'll just click there and it gives me a set of four. Now, unlike what we saw with the other wall types when we were using brick walls and some of those interior partitions that clean up really well in the corners, we don't by default get a perfectly resolved corner with the storefront curtain wall type. You can see here that what we've got is a set of four separate curtain walls and they all kind of finish in their own way at their edges and it's not a properly resolved corner. If we look at that in 3D, once again just making the point that the storefront curtain wall type comes with all that you need in it. It's got the panels and the grids and the mullions, but the corners need a little bit of cleanup. So to do that, we're going to rely on some of the things that we described uh, when we talked about making selections. So I'm going to select the corner mullions in this corner, and then eventually I'll do the same thing in the other corners. But just for the sake of the demo, I'll start just nice and simple here. I'm going to do a selection box in my 3D view that runs from left to right and encloses those mullions. And I've got four of them. So remember, I've got two panels on each of those two curtain walls. And each of those panels will have a mullion. So when I make this selection set, I'm going to have four mullions. And you can see down here in my little filter icon, it displays the number four. So this just confirmation that I have four objects selected. I can reasonably assume here that they're all mullions. If I really need to check, I can just click here on the filter. Sure enough, I only have curtain wall mullions selected. Now, unlike uh, what we saw with the last video, uh, these mullions are pinned. So when you use the storefront curtain wall type, all the objects, the mullions, the grid, the, the panels uh, will be pinned or locked. If I want to do anything to them, I have to unpin them. So up here on the modify panel, if I just click unpin, you'll see those little thumbtack icons disappear. And now what that does is it gives me the option of selecting a different type here in the window. So what I'm going to do in that type selector is drop down here to quad corner mullion. And remember again, select the text with the white background. So I'm just going to click on quad mullion one. And you'll get this little warning that pops up. It's letting you know that you initially had four mullions, but now because you've put a corner mullion in place, it makes two of the mullions redundant and it's just going to let you know that it's going to delete them. So just click here to confirm that. Delete element and where you used to have four, you now have two. But more importantly, you can see that that corner is now properly resolved. So instead of those overlapping mullions like we saw over here, we've got a nice thick looking resolved quad corner mullion. So I would just go about doing the same thing. Um, I'll mention this as well as far as selections go. If I want to do that same process, I can hold down my selection button here, sorry, or make a selection from left to right, grab those corner mullions, orbit around a little bit and hold my control button down. So if you want to add additional elements to your selection set, just hold down the control button and it will let you keep building. So same process. I now have 12 of them selected, four in each of the three corners. And I just repeat the same process. So unpin them and then change the type from rectangular mullion to quad mullion one. I get the same warning. In this case, instead of letting me know that two will be deleted, of course, it's going to be six. So I just click delete element. And now my building footprint 
shows me four completely resolved curtain wall corners.